hey guys welcome back to school year 13 hopefully hopefully your last year of school ever and then soon afterwards you'll be off to university which is amazing or to fantastic jobs i say hopefully your last year of school ever because things might go a little bit wrong um, so here are a few tips, a little bit of advice so we can start off this school year really, really well and hopefully things won't go a little bit wrong and you can go off to fantastic, fantastic things afterwards. Um, so first of all, we need to be thinking about UCAS applications, if that's what you want to do. Um, now, hopefully you did loads and loads of work over this over the summer. If you didn't, you need, need, need to start looking at now. You need to... Um, start thinking about your personal statements i know it doesn't have to be until january which feels like a really really long way away but it's not and places get given away before january okay so those good places those people with good grades these people with good personal statements good references are going to get places before january they're going to get good offers some people are going to get unconditional offers so please don't wait until january to get your start thinking about UCAS you need to start thinking about it now and don't forget your teachers have loads of references to write so a few years ago I had a student who decided he wanted to apply to Cambridge on the 14th of October which is the day before the um application that needs to be in for Oxford and Cambridge um and I had to write a reference for him overnight it was a Sunday night I was out um, this did not go down very well with anybody at school. So don't leave things to the last minute. Get things organised, get things sorted. Um, thinking about personal statements and university interviews, you're going to need to come up with a passion. Uh, something that you can talk about confidently, something that you can talk about um, with passion to show you in your interview that you're interested in lots and lots and lots of things, not just that you are a robot who can repeat the things that you get told in your A-level course over and over and over again. So you need to find um, a set of things you're interested in and these books, this series of books, so either a very short introduction to the graphic guides to, these ones are good because they've got lots of pictures in, but still cover really, really hard content. These ones are a little bit harder, written by university professors, much more graphs, um, less like, these ones have like pretty pictures in or you can get the manga guides too they're also really really good um these will give you kind of like a brief short introduction to a topic and will give you like a really good starting point that you can go off and discover things for yourself um reading technical magazines like new scientist um or the economist or other things things that aren't usual so like don't apply for economics and stay in your personal statement that you've read for economics because everybody's read that book okay find something that makes you different makes you stand out now some of you will have done as exams some of you won't have done as exams some of you just will have done internal exams at school if you have done AS exams and you can get your hands on the exam papers, these are going to be really, really valuable for you to work out which bits you need to improve on and which bits you're kind of okay on. Now, some of the examples on an Excel have made it a lot easier this year by making all of the exam papers available for free from results day onwards. So your teachers are going to go and download those, look at those and help you work out which bits you need to improve on and which bits you don't need to improve on. But year 13 is going to be building upon year 12. Everything you've done in year 12, I'm afraid you can't forget because year 13 is just going to be adding things on top of that and making things harder. I know, that's not what you wanted me to say, is it? You wanted me to say year 13 is going to be easier, but it's not. Sorry. Um, there is a lot to cover in year 13. You can expect the majority of the content to be done um, back over like February half term and then a few bits after February half term and then hopefully by Easter everything should be done and sorted so year 13 is really good um, it is going to be really stressful I'm afraid there's nothing we can do to get away from that so it is going to be so important that you are looking after yourself looking after your mental health don't give up 
all of your activities because um, you're, you're stressed about school, stressed about time. These are good for you, they're good for your, your health, your mental health, your physical health, and they're gonna look good at your gas application form. So keep doing things outside of school. Don't just abandon everything and concentrate on your schoolwork. That is not going to be good for you. Um, I'm publishing loads of things to help you out with A-level chemistry, um, loads of questions. The good thing for you is that there are going to be loads and loads of questions available, whereas like the years before, maybe the first years doing the exams, you are going to have some past papers to look at. Um, so go and have a look at those. And yeah, look after yourselves, guys. It is going to be a hard year, um, but I'm going to be here with you the whole way through. So good luck.